What is going on, saxophone fans? This is Tyler Anderson with GetASax.com, your source for the best vintage and pro saxophone gear. Today, we're going to take a look at how to incorporate using a delay pedal with the saxophone. We're going to show you how to get it all set up, and then we're also going to give you some settings on the pedal to get some different sounds out of the effect. All right, let's hop in. <laughs> For today's video, we're going to be using the MXR Carbon Copy Analog Delay. This is an analog delay pedal that I mostly use in a live setting. Uh, I can use it to kind of create an ethereal sound around the saxophone, which sometimes can be really nice on more sparse sounding music. Basically, what a delay pedal is going to do is it's going to duplicate your sound at a later point in time. The MXR delay pedal has three different knobs that control different parameters of the delay and a modulation button, which uh, basically gives you a more modulated out of tune sound to the delay. The delay knob controls the space between when you initially play something and when it is repeated. So you can have the sound duplicate itself immediately after you start playing, or you can have it wait uh, even up to seconds. The region knob controls the overall duration of the delay. So you can set up the delay to stop almost immediately or you can set it up to continue indefinitely. And the mix knob is basically a dry wet knob. It just controls how much of the effect is added in and mixed with your original saxophone signal. All right, let's make sure that we have everything that we need to get set up. First thing you're gonna need is your delay pedal and the power supply that came with the delay pedal. Next, you're gonna need a microphone. For today's video, I'm gonna be using the SM57. You're gonna need an XLR cable. You're gonna need a quarter inch cable. And then you're gonna need a low to high impedance adapter. The first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna plug your XLR cable into the microphone. Next, you're gonna take the other end of that XLR cable and you're gonna plug it into your low high impedance adapter. Plug the impedance adapter that's connected to your XLR cable into the input on the delay pedal. Next, you're gonna take your quarter inch cable and you're going to plug that into the output. You can then take the other end of that quarter inch cable and you can plug it into an audio interface if you're recording to your computer or you can plug it into an amp if you're playing live. The other option is to use a pair of stereo headphones that have a quarter inch plug and plug that into the output. And you can just listen to yourself through the headphones. Now that we've got everything set up, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the parameters on the pedal to get some different kinds of effects out of it. All right, let's go ahead.
that's it. Thanks for watching our video on how to use a delay pedal with the saxophone. Make sure to come back and check us out if you want to see more content on different kinds of effects and production techniques that you can use with the saxophone. Also, make sure to hop on over to getasax.com to see our world-class collection of vintage and pro saxophone gear. All right, have a good day. Thank you.